So you're probably wondering why I'm standing in my closet. Uh, why I own so much stuff for somebody who doesn't have a fashion channel. Maybe that's changing. I don't know. But I, A, A, point one, know that I'm going on a low buy for the next year. What does that mean? I don't even know what the hell that means. I should probably define what that means. Um, it means that I won't buy clothes just because I see them and think they're pretty. I will buy them if I need them, A. So like, I don't need to buy any more sweaters or cardigans or pants unless because I have specific style jeans, unless that style of jean rips beyond repair. And I can't, because I, I am about repairing clothes. Not buying holiday clothes. I mean, I have four Halloween shirts that I just briefly glanced at. Glanced at. Four. I mean, you can wear Halloween shirts from like September through October. I mean, let's be honest, I'm probably going to wear them year round. Um, I am who I am. I don't need to buy any belts this year outside of a better solid brown belt. The one I have is a piece of junk. I would like to not replace but maybe get a different color velvet duster. But that's like, do I put that on the low buy? Do I not put that on the low buy? Like, I don't, I don't know. I'd like a velvet duster that I could wear more than just in the fall, which, yeah, I guess you could wear mustard more than just in the fall. I also, being the way that I am, when I find something I like, I buy it in multiple colors. Also, I don't know if you saw this, but I have a huge section of white t-shirts because I murder white t-shirts. Like, undoubtedly kill two to three white t-shirts a year. So I can buy white t-shirts. But I buy not investment piece white t-shirts because I'm a realist and know that I will kill the white t-shirt. My favorite white t-shirt is actually from Walmart. It's the No Boundaries one. It's like four bucks. My absolute favorite one but I, I'm gonna go on a low buy like I'm just not gonna buy to buy clothes I need to think through my purchases and that includes shoes because I haven't even showed you all my shoes yet I have a I have a boot display as my husband calls it i need to dust it before i show you or realistically i can just show you covered the shelves covered in dust i mean i wear the boots but like i don't need dust the shelf i own all these fancy clothes but it's a sunday and i'm wearing black leggings a uh, shirt from ross and a hoodie from roots that i got at value village in windsor canada obviously i am a Icon of fashion. Oh, and my Ed Hardy took. I think that's how Cree says it. Because I call it toboggan. And she's like, that's not the right word. Um, got this at a Marshall in Windsor. The only purse that I would like to replace is, I don't know if you remember seeing it, but I have a coach bag that is like a bucket style tote bag. I would like to replace it. it. I bought it off eBay, used, when we first moved back to Texas. So six years ago, used. Uh, it is not in great shape. I would like to replace that. Outside of that, I don't need to buy any bags either. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I don't need to buy shoes. 
Will that one be successful? Probably not. Shoes, man, shoes. I mean, obviously, clothes in general, I just love them. I have more in the mail, like... <laughs> Though, some of those coming in the mail are for a video idea. For somebody who doesn't make any money from their YouTube, I'm spending money to make a video. Oh, did you hear my stomach? Uh, that is my plan for the next year. I don't know when this video is going up, uh, but I'm also going to show you in this video how I style a week's worth of outfits in the fall time, winter time. It, it's Texas, so like it's the end of November, but let's be real. It's really just fall here. It's not cold yet, so I'll show you how I style a week's worth of outfits. Maybe the thought process behind that, I don't know yet. I haven't gotten there. Here is... Here's my outfit. It is Thanksgiving week, but it's a Christmas shirt, overalls, Nordic sweater, purple vans. I am a fashion icon. Today's outfit is a Roots Earth Day shirt. Coca-Cola sweatpants from Target. Kirkland slippers that I absolutely love. That's the second pair of those I owned because uh, we had a kitty accident on the first pair. Um, if I get dressed nicely, I will show you, but uh, I have a migraine. And that's why the bed's not made because I'm about to climb back in it. And I just needed to film this clip before I forgot. Let's be honest, the lighting on this clip sucks because I'm filming it at like 2.30 in the afternoon. Um, this is the outfit of the day. Green cardigan, Santa shirt, Canada specific roots hat, high-waisted women's seven skinny jeans. Uh, yes, now I'm going to go feed myself some lunch. So, uh, it's Thanksgiving day and, uh, the bed's not made cause I'm laying in it today. Uh, I did get dressed though. I did get dressed. I had like some weird messy up to in a headband, my cat eye glasses. And then I have one of my favorite cardigans, the gray with black stars with this oversized stripey shirt with orange accents, just some high rise skinny jeans and no shoes because it's Thanksgiving and I'm at home. After Thanksgiving, wearing my Canada beanie again, a black cardigan. This is a hunter green dress. I don't know if we can tell in this lighting. Black tights. Trying something with socks here and my sparkly Doc Martens. Oh. I either have one or two more days of this, but I'm about to go clean out my closet because your girl has to have hangers. So we're going to have some clean out in this video. It is the Friday after Thanksgiving and I had to get rid of some clothes in my closet to put some clothes in my closet. Yeah. 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 I refuse to go buy any more hangers. So I, I got rid of some clothes. I'm going to show you what I got rid of. This is all just plain t-shirts. A bunch of white ones, as you can see. They're all they're all very fitted, not too small, but um, what you would say extremely form fitting. And I'm more a uh, let's not show every crease or every crease and crevice right now, so. Those are going. I don't know 
why my TV just beeped. And that's my cat. Here is the final fit of week in fits. It's a sweater, the same skinny jeans I've worn, my purple vans, my Carhartt beanie. Yeah. Um, let's talk about what I plan to accomplish in the next year. I plan to maybe curate my wardrobe a little better. Like it's really big, like really big. And I would like to uh, maybe get it where it's not overflowing my closet. Narrow down my personal style, probably not though. Let's be real, probably not. I definitely want to uh, want to use more of my wardrobe though. Yeah. Now I gotta go pick up the hard drive that I had to purchase because I lost my hard drive of five years. Can't find it anywhere. No idea where it's at. Um, but we'll see you in a couple months with the next fashion. Mid-size. I don't know what we're calling this, okay?